everyone, it is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna get into this Smoke Sessions 2 collection from Melt. So, I told y'all why, sorry, why you don't need this palette, but I also told you I was gonna get this palette anyway. So I went ahead and got it like I said I was, and we're gonna get into it today. So I brought the two palettes from that video so we can compare them side by side because y'all know that's how I get down. And then I brought my Cheese and Parties to see if some of those Malvish Berry Tone shades match Cheese and Parties. Because I hear they don't make this one anymore. I don't know. I don't really like looking to the older Melt palettes. Once I have the palette, I just kind of have the palette. So anyway, let me open her up. So first of all, I kind of thought it was cool that they put this acrylic packaging on here. At least on the front part so it's not just the typical cardboard and that's it. So I was liking that. I wanted to compare it to the Beetlejuice one too, but I think I have left it here. I'm trying to see if I get it here. So if it's not, I'm going to be freaking out because I did not see it in my house and I was like uh so where my palette though what we will not do is lose this palette it is too expensive and I cannot be playing so I need to figure out where she is because I'm concerned for her safety no but um let me show you the inside of this palette this is what it looks like on the inside so my shade at the end called Martian can yeah Martian candy it was trying to like fall out I had to like press it back in, so I'm gonna have to press it in some more and pop it actually out of here. That's the good thing about these magnetic, so you can pop them out. But this is what the actual palette looks like now that we have it on possession. Now, of course, the DM from the cold one is going to have, you know, less. I'm gonna have more colors than this one does, so just keep that in mind when I'm showing them. But I'm gonna start off showing the melt palette, which is she's and parties. Now, just keep in mind, I did switch mine around. I'll try to show you all what the original one looks like like the side this is one of the like kind of mock-up things but i'm gonna show you what the one i have now looks like so you can see what i'm talking about when it comes to the darker shades so this is what they look like side by side i feel like that one right there and this one right there might go with those two berry tone ones at the bottom so that's why i'm like i don't know we'll have to see but i did add this shade and i think i put a lighter shade in here from the um millennial pinks palette just because i was like i need you know a lighter transition shade like all these dark shades aren't gonna cut it so next i'm going to show it next to the wine palette from glam light the lights are the battery's flashing even though i just put it in here so hopefully we can get through these two palettes and then i will go ahead and go off camera so this is what both of these look like side by side if you're curious about it so it turns out that shimmery shade is a that shade that i thought with the matte is actually shimmer just kind of like the one from D'Angelo Nicole's palette, so that's what both of those look like. And then lastly, we're gonna get into the one I did in the video, which is the ultraviolet palette from D'Angelo Nicole. So here's what both of them look like side by side. So as you can see, she has a lot more lighter, cool tones, and I feel like these are more warm, bearish tones that we got them close together. So it might not be exact like I thought, but I feel like it was the one that had the most shades to match it, so that's why I picked it. So I'm gonna go get a new battery, and then we will go ahead and get into swatching these gels. So I, because I got three of the four that they had, I just didn't get like the purple one, but I got all three of these. So this is a re promote from the Beetlejuice. Random side note: this shade afterlife but y'all know i love colors like this so i know my girl Dion loves makeup talks about how she has some of these okay y'all so here are the two shades this is one of those classic ones that shift to like from pink purple to like green and then this is more like the blue purple i guess orange type shifting shade but the purple one is called sour grapes so this is sour grapes and then this is the clockwork one and then this is after what the afterlife is called yeah, so I had to get this shade because I'm like, I love shades like this, so I had to have it. So I'm going to try to use all three of these in a video too. So I'm going to try to put this like maybe in the inner corner on one side and then the lid on the other side. Or I'm going to find a way to maneuver and make them all put in here. But I'm going to do two looks so I can make sure I put one on the majority of the lid and the other one like in the inner corner. So let me zoom in real quick. Like, I'm gonna go off camera and get my life in order now that I have um, showed you all of what I needed to show you. I might do some swatch comparisons of some of these shades at the very end of the video. It depends on how I feel. I do have one other video I can film tonight, but yeah, I'll be right back once I figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, so it didn't take me long to figure out what I was gonna do, thank goodness, but I mean, it's not like there's a million shades up in here. So I decided we're gonna start with this as our transition shade. This is gonna be our outer V shade, and then we're going to take the clockwork shade and put it on the lid with this eyeliner. And then I need to figure out what's going to go into the inner corner. 
I'm thinking that shade that's broken, I might put in the inner corner of this Martian candy. But we'll see. I kind of want to put something different there, but I will cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm not worried about too much. The only issue I always have with um, milk palettes is stuff like this. Like, you only have a limited amount of stuff you can put there. So we'll start off with my Sigma... E40 and use the shade purple skunk and this is the first one from that set I showed you all um in the video the deluxe set because as usual I didn't get a chance to wash my brushes and I was like the show must go on because it's a school night so it must go on but it's time to wash brushes and then I didn't come back Saturday like I normally do so I was like I don't I didn't get a chance to wash brushes because I usually wash them like Friday night, but I, I've been having games Friday night. My son has track meets Friday nights now, so I did not have time to wash brushes. So I did not concern myself with washing brushes. I was just like, thank goodness Sigma sent more brushes. Because, honey, the struggle bus was also good. But. I have an extra day off tomorrow that I wasn't supposed to have off, but I thought my son had to track me, and then I found out he didn't, so I was just like, well, that sounds like it's an extra day to film, so yay me, extra day to film, I guess, mm-hmm. It's cozy, it feels pretty nicely. I didn't get that much sleep today, y'all, so please excuse my yawning. It's a lot, girl, it's a lot. Don't judge me too much. That's a look cute and nice. It's oxidized quite a bit compared to like what it looks like in the pan because y'all saw how light it was in the pan and how deep it is on the eye. So that's why I wasn't worried about putting that um darker purple in my um crease. I was like, I'll just stick with this. I'm gonna take my Sigma E45 Max, it's a small tapered blending brush. I'm, wait, no, I'm not gonna take this one. Sorry, I need my um E25 Max. Cause we're gonna put the purple shade on the outer V now, the one called Purple Punch. That's going on the outer V. Y'all, so I got some fragrances in today from what's that place called? Um, Fleur. I got a couple of the body mist, so I told y'all I was gonna get the uh, mango one when I ordered Moonstone. So I got Moonstone. I'm gonna do a review on that one, and then I'm thinking like in the future when I like rank all my fragrances from Fleur that I'll just tell y'all my thoughts on mango then unless y'all want to hear the thoughts on mango if you want to hear the thoughts on mango you can tell me and i'll do it i was thinking about just sticking them in that video kind of like i did with the vanilla skin sticking it in with the newest thing so that way you get my review on like both things so i might do it that way i haven't fully decided yet but i'm like i just you know look like i need to get it done this week now it's probably not gonna go up to like sometime next week but i'm like you know I think it's going to be my uh, bonus video for one day. So, but to see, as you can see, this purple is getting a lot of depth to the outer view. But like I said, there is oxidized and when you blend it out, it gets much darker than it initially is. I've noticed that with their shades recently. It's interesting too, because like on the brush, you see it looks like purple. Or is that blue? Even though like it's supposed to be like a more purple color. So that's interesting to me that it's giving off this like dark blue color even though it's purple. So I don't know. But yeah, so So now I'm going to take the shade Color Work and start putting that on. I just want to see like how it goes on its own before you try to add like anything extra. Like glitter glue or something. I think I'm just going to rub it on and see what happens. It's an interesting gel texture to it. But I noticed that it does dry down, which I like. So.
so this is what i'm working with i don't feel like it looks patchy like on the lid i was trying to see if i saw any like patchiness anywhere but i think that's just the color shifting i don't think that's like necessarily an issue with that which i'm happy about because i don't like when things like this look patchy on the lid normally i would set it with like an eyeshadow color if they had an eyeshadow color to match it but they do not so i'm just working with what i got and that's it but I'm liking these so far. It's not like an exceptional pigment by any means and a whole lot of shift to it. But I mean like I feel like it's nice from what it is since they're more of a mainstream indie brand now. I don't look at them as like a truly independent brand the way I like used to. It's giving more like Natasha Denona-esque type vibes of indie. And that's okay because you know it makes it more accessible and easy for people who don't want to make many years for indie brands to come back into stock and some of the issues that they do have. Which isn't necessarily bad. All businesses have issues. It's just more if you don't. I should have pulled this brush out ahead of time for the eyeliner. But I did not. So that's why we're sitting here digging through to see if I can find it. Hmm. I don't know where it is. And I don't like using the um, other ones. Like, I don't really like using brushes like this to put on eyeliner. So I'm trying to figure out what my actual eyeliner brush is. But I think I have one like that that I am pretty good at using. Yeah, this one from um, Color Rain that came in that eye brush that I bought. I'm going to try to use this one to see how it goes because it's an angled liner brush. So we're going to put on After Dark with this and see how it works out for me. Because I'm a little nervous because I haven't done it with one of these like, in forever. And it's the first time trying this formula too. So I'm just like, ooh, I'm nervous, honey. But here we are, because, like I said, it's my first time using this. So. pretty easy it has a nice wing it's a creamy formula i might have to get some more of these especially since jd club went out of business and those are the only ones i had and this color is popping so yeah i will definitely get some more so i'm very impressed with this one i'm wondering if this would be good to use as a base i'm gonna have to ask dion because she's had hers longer this is literally my first time buying one of these so i'm not sure so if you want more in-depth information on these, I would definitely say check out my girl Deanna Loves Makeup because she uses them a lot and she might be able to give you some more information like if they're good to use as bases or whatnot. But I'm impressed with what I use so far. If they have some more colors that I feel like are interesting, I will definitely pick them up during my next melt purchase. So inner corner, let's figure out what we're going to do with that. I kind of want to put like a bright purple in there since I feel like this is giving more of the pink green. And this is peeling green. I want to tie back in some purple. So I'm thinking we can take this monster cookie right here and take my e30 from sigma and pop that in the inner corner of camera figure out what I'm gonna do for I2 and then I'll be right back and we can finish it off and see if I feel like I see any shimmers that look similar in the ultraviolet palette to swatch alongside smoke sessions for those of you who are interested in how similar the shimmers are gonna be in the glitters in the shimmers and what the difference is in the glitters and the shimmers and all of that stuff so I'll be right back. Okay I'm saving some time I just took the crease shade purple skunk and put it in the crease because 
Y'all know when it comes to milk pals, they usually give you one light shade for transition, one light shade for your corner, the rest of my life, the mid tone and like deeper tones. So I decided we're gonna take the shade Black Roses this time and do a halo eye situation. Then I'm gonna take the shade Blue Haze and put that in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the the other gel and the shade Sour Grapes and put that on the lid. So that's what we're working with for this look. So let's get into it. But yeah, so. Y'all track season's almost over. He has to go take his pictures for the track team tomorrow. And then it's almost with regionals. And he got to run with the varsity kids. Um, today, like regular varsity, not like junior varsity. So I thought that was pretty cool. He's excited about that job, so. And this kid tried to pass him today and he was like, yeah, no, it's not happening. And like he ran up to um, make sure the kid didn't get to pass him. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. Like stand your ground. Like he cannot, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. he shall not pass. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's get to this other side. But yeah, y'all, I've just been out here trying to, you know, survive and try to get to sleep and get everything that I need to get done. Like I'm literally only filming this video tonight because I have work off tomorrow and I thought I had to track me but I don't. So I'm like I'm gonna go and um what do you call it? I'm gonna come here and film because I have to pick up something from around here in the afternoon. I'm taking him to school then I'll come back and film whatever I need to film tomorrow and get that done out of the way. So ooh, I'm liking the smoke that this is giving i feel like this is a lot deeper and does pull a little bit more like deep 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 blackish purple but i feel like this pulls like the more deeper plumish purple that i thought that that um other purple shade was gonna pull so i'm liking that plus i know i just love purple so i mean it, it's always gonna be a plus for me because it's purple so i'm gonna turn the brush over to this side the clean side because this is the side i used to put on the one shade so I'm just gonna flip it over to this side that's clean and use it to put on the other shade well I feel like it should be okay because there are two different shades I want to see how bluish purple this one pulls on the lid because I kind of want to put the shade I told y'all about putting in the inner corner on the lid and then use the lighter shade in the inner corner but we'll see or just the other purple called Northern Lights. We'll see. But I'm going to start off with this. Oh, yeah. Because this is definitely giving like a that classic bluish purple vibe to me. I'm interested to see how Purple Haze will look on top of this. I think I am going to put Purple Haze on top of this. Once I let you all just see this on its own. Just kind of use it as a base to see how it works as a base versus how it just works on its own yeah but like i was saying um i don't know where it cut me off at but i was saying I'm, i had bought like these little milk things to use as bases or whatever so i was like i use it as a base and then i see like if powder dual chromes and multi chromes are the same tone get more of an effect when i put this like on top of it if you will so like, let's see. So this is what it looks like on its own. It's nice and pigmented and the purple and blue are pulling quite nicely in my personal opinion. I actually feel like this one looks a little bit better than this one because I feel like I don't see as many as the shifts in this one. As I do in the other one, I feel like I would have to put a powder on top of this and match this in order to get any of the like shifting. But in all fairness, it could be because of where we are, like this lighting versus like natural lighting. It might shift more in natural lighting. I'll give the benefit of the doubt, but I think I want to put purple haze on top of it. So I'll swatch purple haze so you can see what it looks like. It just looks like a nice like satiny shade, if you will. And I just want some extra glitter and effects, so that's what purple haze looks like on its own. I'm gonna take these brushes and just put it all over the lid. Where's my E55? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take the E55, what is this, eye shading brush from Sigma, and just put that on top of this just to see how it looks.
Yeah, see, I wanted to have like a base and then have like an extra glittery effect for it to go on top of to make sure it, you know, show this pigmentation. So, it's doing just that, so that works. So, I think I'm going to take the satin shade, because I think it's only one truly metallic looking satin shade in here called Purple Goo. This one right here. Focus. Focus. Yeah, this one right here, purple glue, and just put that in the inner corner. I'm not feeling an actual light inner corner today, and I normally am. I'll take a Sigma E30 and take purple glue here. And pop that. we're working with so back on up and talk about my thoughts on this palette so I thought the palette was okay I didn't think it was anything like exceptional or I was missing out of my collection it's just more of since I usually do melt content and film a good majority of melt videos I have just about everything they come out with I forgot to go ahead and pick this up because we all know I'm a purple palette connoisseur and I want to compare it to other purple palettes that are already in my collection as well so I need to go swatch my hand I mean go wipe the swatches off my hand because now I'm gonna do the part that I told y'all about where I'll swatch the um eyeshadow compared to the ultraviolet palette and tell you and show you like what's similar what's not but um yeah the palette was just okay to me it wasn't anything exceptional like it works fine just like my other purple palette it did have a couple unique shades so like it's purple went really 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 deep which i'm excited about but Mel is usually known for its super deep grungy shades so i wasn't surprised about that so it did what i expected to do it came to like the depth of the color and the mattes were nice I mean, I don't like the fact now that you have to build up their mats. They used to be way more pigmented than they are now. I will say that. So that was the only thing that disappointed me about it. But otherwise, you know, it was fine. I wouldn't necessarily say get it as opposed to something else if you're expecting to have the old melt formula where you don't have to build it up. Their shimmers were never really like super extraordinary or wonderful. That's why I'm glad I ha they have these like little pots where you can add the shimmer on top of it and get more of an effect to it. I definitely suggest Sour Grapes to go with this palette because you saw how nice that um shade I put one on top of it, Blue Haze. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go off camera, pick some shades that I feel like are similar, and then we'll get into the swatch comparison. So I'm going to do Melt first, then I'll do D'Angelo Nicole, then Melt, D'Angelo Nicole, and so on and so forth. And I'll tell you which ones are which. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So here are the shades. So this is the purple haze. Sorry, the blue haze that's on my eye. This shade is from D'Angelo Nicole's. I'm trying to think of the name. This is the dark shade. It's hard to see the names on her palette because they're in purple. And then, like, the background has all this glitter and stuff. So, that's why I'm not naming her. It's just because it's hard to read what it says. And then, with the font it is, it's very difficult. So, I'm sorry. But this is from Melt. And this one is called Purple Punch. The dark purple shade. Whereas, this one looks like more of a, like, berryish dark shade. Wait, no, sorry, this isn't that one. This is the shade that's on my eyes right now, the Black Roses. So this is Black Roses, and this is the um, equivalent from Bella Butte Bar. Then this is the shade Purple Punch, and then this is Deep Shade from her. So this one pulls a lot more blue, if you all can't notice right here, and I showed you on the brush, compared to hers, which just pulls a super deep, dark purple. To me, this pulls like a super deep, navyish blue purple if that makes sense then this is the shade which one is this oh this is the shade martian candy the one i told you that came smushed so i haven't used it at all and then i swatched the glittery iridescent shade from the bella beauty bar palette and um i swatched her lightest purple shimmer and then i combined both of them together just to see what it would look like otherwise then we have the shade monster cookie right here from melt and then i took a purple shade from billy beauty bars palette i'll try to go online and see what the name of these shades are and write that in the description box for you all with the swatches or whatever but i just want you to see that there are some i feel like are somewhat similar they're not exact i like the glitter particles or the glitter reflex in um deandra nicole's palette better to be honest because it's like melt just stuck to a very simple one of just blue and purple where i feel like i see lots of different reflective glitters in hers they either did purple and gold 
or they did just purple or they did blue and purple so i don't feel like they gave us a lot of variation which is why i like the d'angelo nicole one better i do have a link to bella beauty dar down below if anyone is interested but if you just wanted a simple purple palette with i will say the um the uniqueness of this outer v shade is what's impressive to me when it comes to this palette but otherwise it's just like another melt palette that's the one shade and since they have to be built up now and they're not the way they used to be where they're more pigmented i'm not necessarily super impressed with this and i say get the d'angelo nicole palette instead because you're supporting a smaller creator and a smaller brand not to mention i feel like the form on this is better because i don't like um i feel like you don't have to build this up as much you have to do with melt ones and the melt ones used to be so much pigmented than everybody else that was one thing everybody liked about them so now i'm just kind of like hmm but those are my thoughts as a purple palette connoisseur so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds make sure you subscribe my membership is down below if you're interested and i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye